Warriors of the Inquisition are yours to command. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Masters of the Watch video update. So guys, um, what am I going to be showing you this time? Well this is going to be kind of like a little bit of a review almost, and a little bit of an unboxing, and a little bit of a step by step. So guys, what are we looking at today? Well, I'm looking at, we're looking at the Astra Militarum, so aka the Imperial Guard, don't know why they changed the fucking name for it. We're looking at the Hydra Kit, or more importantly, the Wyvern Kit. Now, this is the first time I've actually seen this kit, uh, I've not actually looked at any of the sprues, I've not actually seen any unboxings actually of this and um, so this is like my first time with a new chimera chassis and uh, basically it's, it's, a, it's a brand new kit to me essentially so we'll see my first impressions of it so let's release it from its cardboard prison so let's have a bunch just quickly there's only two sprues right, well that's certainly interesting so it looks like they've condensed it down from a four sprue kit for a chimera chassis to a two sprue kit and um, so it looks like we've got oh that must be that's the first part of it that's the old one they've got rid of like the wheel they've got rid of like, the little wheels and stuff which is fantastic this might be old old news to you guys but it's new news to me now i used to hate putting them bloody wheels on the chimera around the edges it was a right pain in the ass so it looks like they've made they've put the pegs in so there's actually more space less plastic that's a really really good way to go about it although still 35 quid for two sprues I think we're a bit ripped off here. Although we'll see what it looks like when it's been built, when it's been constructed. Now this is the sprue that really interests me straight out of the box because this has the new parts on it. So let's have a quick little scan of it. So it looks like we've got um, the assembly for the um, actual uh, 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 within um, uh, grenade launcher bomb cannon things, can't remember what they're called. And it looks like that assembly, now this is something that I've been told was right. I thought that you could buy this and you got basically a set of uh, dual twin link auto cannons separately. Now as you saw in my Dreadnought video, um, that was, uh, you know, that would have been perfect for twin linked auto cannons for a Rifleman Dread, but sadly not. It looks like these bits, when they're glued together, literally you just stick those on the end so you don't actually get a, sec a separate weapon assembly. Plus these actually do look a bit too big to go on a dread yeah round about this i suppose you could get away with that i suppose but it's a bit much paying him 35 quid for a uh, just a set of twin link last can uh, twin linked auto cannons but this looks like a really really nice little sprue lots of lovely detailing lots of lovely um iconography some nice little cabling details and lots of good rivets let's just flip that over uh well, so this one could be questionable uh, to build. Oh, it looks like we got a couple of cool little crew models. They'll be really nice to make an inquisitorial henchmen out of. So um, that's the sprue. We got a lovely, uh, we got a nice little um, transfer sheet which will never ever get used, and we've got a good set of instructions. Now I'll give you the load on the instructions, how easy they are to follow after I've built it, because I'm pretty sure you guys want to see this built, don't you? Well, let's get started. And I'll join you again in a second when it's built. Okay, guys, so I have built it. Isn't the world of video editing wonderful? There you go, guys. So, well, it's partly built. I've left the tracks off him because I paint the tracks separately because there's nothing worse than having to mask off areas when you're airbrushing. It, it, it takes the piss, really. Now, um, this kit went together pretty much perfectly with one floor to it. Well, there's two floors. First one I'll come to now. Now, this floor led to many a swear word being said and many a middle finger being given. Um, essentially, guys, uh, I'll find it in the instructions. Which bit is it? Right, okay, here it is. So, this bit here, in regards to connecting it to here, is the most bollocks bit ever. This piece, this cog piece here, uh, sound like cod piece, uh, this cog bit here hold, get, is held on by the most minutest little tiniest, tiniest square of uh, cross of plastic. It is absolutely bollocks. And if you don't get it done first time, you make a right fucking mess of it. Now I've had to, you might notice on the Wyvern here, it's slightly lopsided there. That's going to have to resort to using um, super glue. Granted I was being impatient and wanted to get it built for the video, but still, that is a fucking piss take. And um, that is a massive design oversight, and it also means that the guns on the side are very, very frail. You can actually see what I mean by looking through there. That's the gap that you've got. That leads me to my next grumble about this miniature. Look how big the fucking guns are. Look what it's supported on. 
That is ridiculous. If this thing was to fire in real life, the guns would just fly off. The, the guns would be would be over here somewhere. It's ridiculous. Um, however, this is the uh, 41st millennium, and it is rather grim dark. And I can imagine that this is probably made of some kind of mad alloy that doesn't break too easily. Now, anyway, so you might have noticed, guys, that I've left the middle bit of the pilot out because uh, I want to be able to take this off and on and uh, transport it easy. And um, plus, as well. This is like an artillery kind of cannon. Go on there, you bastard. Uh, this is an artillery cannon, so uh, I, I left out the pilot, which is holding it like that, because I don't think he'd really be firing manually. I think this would be a thing that you program coordinates in. It would turn and shoot. Um, my only... Oh, for fuck's sake. Shitty balls. Fucking bollocks cunt bag. I'll just... So I can bent the railings. Let's take this uh, the turret off here. Now the other thing that I did find a little bit disappointing about the new Chimera chassis was the fact that um, this bit here is separate on the older kits, which means you can take it off and you can paint this a separate colour. Which means I'm after going to mask this off any. I'm have to. I'm going to have to mask this off anyway in order to do this blue. However, now that I might just leave that, considering the basilisk is the same colour as well. I don't know. We'll have to see it painted. Speaking of which, guys, would you like to see it painted? I bet you would. Join me in a second with another jump cut. Okie dokie guys, well the paints are out and I've just got paint all over my hand. So let's take a look at how I've painted up the Wyvern. So here he is guys in all his mechanical glory. If you might notice him being a bit quiet now because it's 27 minutes past 12 and everyone's in bed. Um, but yeah guys, so um, this is what I've done with him. Let's just zoom in a little bit so we can get him in uh, full frame. Um, as you can see, going with my standard um, colour scheme, um, lots of um, the oil effects around are stuff that would naturally be oily. Um, we've got uh, some rust effect. I'm going to go in with this and do my uh, dirt mud effect um, after that's dried. It's just so I've got a bit of a layering going on there. Um, we've got uh, on the gun specifically a bit of like a blackened kind of um, charred where, uh, area where the um, obviously the, uh, the, the the shot would be fired. And um, then if we just rotate this round. We've got, oh, we can't really see that too long. We should re-angle the light. As you can see in the uh, in the cockpit there. Yeah, it's uh, quite dark at the moment, even with my lighting rigs. But we've got a, I might do a bit more work on the screen here. It didn't turn out too well. But overall, all the switches and buttons and various other bits of gadgetry are all pretty cool. Um, if we take this out, you'll see that I've gone for a uh, rather rusty slash oily mechanism in there. And um, also some more stuff in the actual back there as well, which is where general rust and grime would go. Um, I tried to make it look as natural as I can, but like I said, I'm new to the whole weathering kind of uh, stuff in regards to the effects and things, so you have to bear with me. I'm also going to dirty up the tracks a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, guys, so that is the Wyvern from uh, box to paint. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, I will see you guys again soon. See you now. Goodbye.